Hello everyone, in this video I will tell you how I plan my 24 hours whenever I am preparing for any entrance exam, be it NEET UG, be it PG, be it a fellowship exam, an SRship exam, in general any entrance exam for that matter. Now whenever you are preparing for a tough competitive exam especially in a medical field, be it NEET UG or PG, you have to study 10 to 14 hours per day. So minimum 10 hours, even if you are studying let's say 9 to 10 hours, it's frankly enough. You know, logo lagta hai ki 16-17 ghande padte honge, jiski rank 1 aayye, nahi nahi, aisa kuch nahi hai. Okay, even if you are studying for 10 hours, it's well and good, but those 10 hours should be productive. Now if you are a NEET UG aspirant, so first 6 hours of the day, you are spent in your coaching institutes as well. So that also counts as the total number of hours studied during the day. So rest of the day, you only have to study for 6 hours, that's it. Okay? So in this video, we'll discuss what is my study schedule, how I plan this schedule starting from the day, from the time that I wake up, all the way till the time that I go to bed. So a brief introduction about me. I'm Dr. Rishabh Jain. I've done my MBBS from Ames, Delhi and my MD in Radiology from PGI Chandigarh. Back in my time, I secured an All India Rank 1 in AIPMT 2012, which was the earlier name of NEET exam, which is currently happening. Now, in the PG entrance exam, I secured a Rank 4 in AIMS and a Rank 11 in PGI Chandigarh. And I'm currently doing my Fellowship in Intervention Radiology from ILBS New Delhi. So I have a fair bit of idea, you know, having secured top 10 ranks in almost all entrances exams throughout my medical career. I know a bit of too about planning a day, strategizing your time and study schedule in a way that it is most productive for getting the best ranks out of you. Now, it doesn't matter whether you are a night owl or an early bird, okay? whether you like studying in the night, it's peaceful, there are less distractions, you have the time on your own or you are an early bird, you wake up at 6 in the morning, there's still a lot of, uh, still a lot of peace, there's no noise and you can study in the early morning itself. But the whole crux is to plan out your day in such a way that you have at least covered 3 to 4 hour study session pre-lunch. Okay, this is the most most important advice that I'll give you, that before lunch, at least study for 3 to 4 hours. Now, if you have done with 3 hours of studying before lunch, you only have to do, you know, 7 to 8 hours in the rest of the day. And that is frankly not of a much hour. So, from 2 p.m. all the way till 12 p.m. in the night, just 7 hours of study. Okay? So, just make sure that whenever you wake up, 3 hours pre-lunch study session is must. So, this is how I plan my study schedule. So, I am assuming that uh, if someone like me is a night owl, he'll probably wake up at around 10 in the morning. So first advice, my first advice would be that reduce your sleep to study latency. Okay, jab aap uthe and from that time to you start studying, don't make it a one or two hour long period. Okay, try to, uh, try to start sit study just after you wake up, at least, at least within 30 minutes. So I'm assuming that you woke up at 10 a.m. And you start studying at 11 uh, at 10 30 a.m. in the morning. Now you'll ask you, sir, nana dhuna bhi hota hai, khana pina bhi khana hota hai. So you have an early breakfast just after waking up, but you postpone, let's say, your uh, bathing, other routines to a later time. Or if you are starting your study at 10 30, make sure that you wake up at 9 30 to accommodate all that. But my whole idea is ki before lunch, at least have a three hour long study session. So I'm assuming that you wake up at 10 30, the first three hour session is from 10.30 till all the way till 1.30. So this is your first 3 hour study session till 1.30. And I'm telling you 3 hours because first, whenever you wake up, it will take time for you to uh, get in the mode of studying. So first study session will always be lengthy. I'm giving you a 3 hour study session. Now after a 3 hour study session, you take a 1 hour break, have your lunch, relax a bit, scroll some social media for uh, relaxation another 1.5 hour study session from 2.30 till 4. So from 2.30 till 4, we have another one and a half hour study session. It's a smaller study session. Then you take a half an hour break, 30 minutes break. And again, a study session from 4.30 till 6. So now, uh, till now, we are done with 6 hours of study. Then again, I'll give you a one hour break. So it's may you can have your snacks, you can have your tea, you can maybe go out for an evening walk in the park if you're living at home, if you're staying in a hostel, you can go down in the market and have a roam about. 
now from 7 to 9 pm again a two hour study session this can either be done at your home if you're watching some online video for NEET PG, you're watching a revision video or an online TND, whatever you're doing. Or if you're a NEET UG aspirant, you are doing MCQs in the 7 to 8 time slot, whatever have you planned. Now from 9 till 10.30, I'm giving you a one and half hours break. So this is a 1.5 hours break and it's a big break because this time you can have your dinner, talk to your family if you're living in a hostel, you know, if you're to home sit down with them uh, on the dining table, have some chat. So this is a lengthier study break for, from 9 till 10.30. Now after 10.30, your parents would have gone to sleep. Again, the distractions would have reduced. The market is now closed. Even the road traffic is now reduced. So now if you're a night owl like me, I've divided two more study sessions of two hours each from 10.30, so, so from uh, 10 to 12 or 10.30 to 12.30 and from uh, 1 to 3 a.m., whatever that may be uh, your case. So, uh, in this way, you are studying, you know, in a way around 12 hours every day. And this is, this is frankly more, more, more than enough. Even if you're not able to study this much, if, even if you're studying 9 to 10 hours per day, this is not a bad study routine. This is, this will get you top 10 rank, top 100 rank, top 500 rank at least. Okay? So, just make sure that your pre-lunch study session have a three hour study session because then the rest of the day falls in place automatically. Now, another advice that I would give you and which is frankly a very logical advice that during this period, limit your social media. Now, which social media to limit? You will say that a lot of information comes on social media nowadays. Your YouTube videos in, is on social media. So, uh, how can I shut down the social media? So, frankly, Facebook and Twitter are two of the social media which you have PG preparation, NEET preparation, fellowship preparation no use in your shut these uh, social media off, okay? If you deactivate kar do, abhi app delete kar do, whatever you want to have. Now, YouTube and Instagram, yes, has a lot of educational content as well, strategy videos, revision videos, quick bites as well. So, you can limit their screen time, okay? You don't have to do one YouTube video, you can see that you are just watching, 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 now it's been three hours, YouTube reels are running, Instagram reels are running. Limit your screen time, put a screen lock in your phone, one hour, or at max 2 hours, okay? Isse jada mat karo because WhatsApp pe bhi aap bhoat time spend karo ge automatically. So this was my study schedule which helped me crack a uh, top 10 ranks in almost all intense ex exams in my medical career and I hope this video helped you a lot. If you like this video, please do hit a subscribe button. Please like this video. It will really help me motivate. Keep making this videos for you guys. Thank you and have a nice day.